it wasn't until I was about, what, three or four, right around that age, where I actually started to notice that there was deaf adults and hearing adults. I had asked my mom, and she sat me down and said, you know, I have blonde hair, and you have brown hair. I have blue eyes, and you have green eyes. I'm hearing, and you're deaf. And at that moment, I was bawling. And my mother was like, what's wrong? And I was crying, and I said, I want blue eyes. And my mother just gave me that. I played soccer and actually made a goal for the wrong team. I was running down the field. I look over, people are waving. I thought they were cheering me on. I was feeling good. Running down the field, a team behind me, and made the goal. So embarrassing. I'm just not fit to be on land. I'm not a land animal. I'm more of like a water species. I did it for so long, so I knew it was time. My shoulder was given in. Right about eight or nine years old, I did, yeah. I, I envisioned myself becoming a cartoonist. As I grew up, I started to lose motivation because a lot of people said, you can't have a good career with art. You can't. A lot of people would say, yeah, your only option is to become a teacher. And I was like, what? I feel like society still puts a lot of pressure on gender. And really, we're all human. I felt like I had to fit in on what society's expectations were. I did. And at that time, I didn't know what it meant to be transgender. Having oppression on the binary system, recognizing only male, only female, but really, there's a lot of fluidity within the spectrum. And also having people that don't fit society's expectations. After doing some self-searching, and at that same time, I realized I wanted to become a cartoonist as well. It really happened simultaneously. And that's when my life took a 180 degree turn. I immersed myself and totally fell in love with it. And because comics also educate me. When there's oppression in the system, in comics I could talk about that. It was the scariest decision I ever had to make. But at the same time, it's the best decision I ever made. I'm much happier. Yeah, I'm happy I made that decision. You seem more comfortable in your skin. It's because you found yourself within. I consider myself very fortunate. I have a supportive family and friends. You're still the same person. You're still a klutz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a klutz. Yep. Deaf people always have to support each other. We're already close in that community. Seeing that combo have the ecosystem, whew, I was thrilled. I mean, that was amazing. Resources for deaf-owned businesses.
it struck me. I was thinking, what if aliens came down and they had six arms? Would they view us as disabled? Thinking, oh, you all have two arms, poor you. And from that idea, Vision was born. So, it's still a work in progress, building their personalities and seeing what they're going to entail. Web comics will soon be released. You'll find out soon enough. Eat Sleep Comics, story of my life. Next thing you know, it's graduation day. <laughs> and now, I'm moving to Massachusetts, near Boston. Really looking forward to that new chapter in my life. I anticipate for us to go through our journey, but it needs to get to the point where everybody can just feel safe to be themselves. My name is Carlisle, and I am artistic, empowering, 